Hey, it's Leanne with Paper Heart Scissors, and today I have a Hero Arts My Monthly Hero card for you with the cute bunny and the vegetables. And I'm going to show you a little trick with um, the die cuts and the stamping. These stamps and dies, you know, there's lots of them, and they are kind of small. So what I do is I cut the die, um, the large piece of um, metal dies in half and then I run it through um, a sheet of my Nina Solar White cardstock. Then you can either place the pieces back into your um, larger piece of paper that's cut out and place the stamps on top to easily stamp or you can you can leave them out but you get a really perfect even lovely stamp um, on those small pieces without having to worry about the dies shifting. Um, I use a little bit of sticky ink. You can use Versamark or the Wow to prepare to temper your stamp before you um, stamp for the first time. And I literally just use that. I stamp a little bit on there and I wipe it off with my hand and you get a beautiful clean impression with those stamps, even your first time stamping. So I did use the um, little piece of dirt there and I'm kind of arranging how I want all my pieces to go. There's that cute picket fence and now I'm going to start to um, color my little um, vegetables and the bunny and I'm actually using the alt new um, alcohol markers for this and I have to say I really love the colors. They are wonderful and I'm going to do a quick video shortly here that shows how they relate to the different alt new ink colors and when to use what on a flower or that. Um, but they are really perfect for this project actually. The greens um, are perfect for the cabbage and all the different little veggies in there. And I did add a few Copic colors, a YR16, a Y17, and then a brown that was for the orange and the yellow. You can kind of see those listed on my sheet there. And then I have a stone color Copic marker, E71, and a brown E29. Um, and I will um, list those uh, in my supply list. So I am using the darker G715 of the Alt New to kind of create the shadows in the cabbage. And then I'm using the lighter, um, I don't, can't know what it is, I think it's G742 to actually blend that back into um, the shape of the cabbage. And then I'm going to use the right. um, the darker green, the G715 again to make all the little stalks on the carrots and I'm going to color those with the YR16 and the Y17 um, using the lighter color, the Y17 first, and then adding dimension with the YR16. I will say that I um, stamped these with the Altenu um, inks, and I used lighter colors or coordinating colors to the um, images. I didn't use black ink. And I did that because I really wanted them to, the coloring to kind of disappear and not necessarily have, look, to have them look like cartoons. Um, and then we'll talk about the bunny um, as well a little bit more towards the end because I used a light gray and a pink with him just to keep him very white and soft. Um, but I did want to change his eye and his mouth. I didn't like that the eye wasn't expressive and that it didn't have um, actual a pupil, and you'll see how I fixed that at the end. So I took some Distress Ink here. I used brushed corduroy and then um, some antique photo, and I just really went after rubbing it in and got lots of, you don't have to worry about making this smooth. I mean, it is supposed to be dirt. And I then um, took my Distress Sprayer, and I placed, I sprayed some water drops on it just to let that kind of soak in for a minute and give it some nice texture. And then I blotted it. And that's going to dry with just enough texture that it looks and kind of gives it some feeling. You can see that now finished and dry. And it really has a nice feeling of dirt. I use the little How Does the Garden Grow sentiment and that burlap, and I'm going to back that little sentiment up with the piece of burlap. 
So just cut a nice little square and that's going to go in the bottom right hand corner. So I've arranged everything. Now that I have all my parts made, I arranged everything so that um, I could fit that there. You could do that on a longer strip or a banner or whatever you want um, to work with this card. And I took a piece of Desert Storm cardstock and I um, cut a frame with that, a dotted frame. And actually what's nice about that is it cuts the outside and the inside of the frame. So I'm going to actually use both pieces here. I'm going to create my little scene on the interior one and um, raise that up with a piece of foam. And then I'm going to have the smaller frame that you see in the bottom, well, the outside edge of the frame that you see in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. And that's going to sit directly on the card base. So we get some nice dimension with the way that that frame works and frames the picture. And I want the rabbit to be... Um, higher than everything else um, in in the, my little scene. So I'm just kind of repositioning where everything's going to go. And then I'll start placing the vegetables into those cute little pockets that um, the die cut creates. And you'll see me having a little trouble with this because I probably actually should have done this before I glued it down. I should have glued the vegetables into the little pockets before I glued the dirt a uh, base onto the so it, I I took a little bit longer than I was intending because I I played around with it and that one I was having problems because I put more glue than I should have there, um, but everything worked out okay. We got everything in there, and literally just those are going straight down onto the base. So there's because they're already dimensional enough. You could bend them a little bit if you wanted them to have some um, organic qualities to them and then he he's going to sit up on top of everything with some foam squares. So here's a look at how everything is going to kind of fit together and now we will actually do the final assembly and I'm going to take that frame and I literally put some um, uh, some adhesive on directly on that and that's going to go flat and then I'm going to pop this panel up with some um, fun foam and I had a brown piece left over from one of those colored packs and um, I'm going to insert that just inside of that frame and it just gives a really nice little offset bit of dimension to that scene but still has that nice outward edge um, with the little pierced um, circles. And then we're going to add our uh, bunny man here with his uh, carrot. And I want him to kind of um, pop up outside of the whole frame, of both frames, and be higher than everything else. And then I'm going to take some Ranger Multimedia Mat, and I'm going to um, add that just to the back of uh, this piece of cardstock. And that is going to squeeze through the burlap, actually, but remain totally hidden and stick onto the card. And then I wanted to take that bigger carrot and position that on that as well. So I'll just use a little bit more glue here and add that and then place an acrylic block on top until it dries. So about 10 minutes later, and I was looking at this, and the eyes on the rabbit were still really bugging me. I wanted a um, more expressive, friendly eye. I felt like the eyes were a little bit too much just a, a big black hollow. So I added a teeny dot um, to each eye and kind of gave him a little smile at the bottom of his little nose there. And he is really cute now. And the black actually um, ties in with the sentiment. I hope you've enjoyed this video and the inspiration, and there are more cards on my different um, social channels that have um, that show inspiration from the Hero Arts My Monthly Hero Kit and more. I hope you'll join me and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.